What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Clash Rec. Today, we're going to continue our coverage of the ESL 5v5 Poland Qualifier. So, today's matchup is INTZ and Alcacacat. So, the winner of this match is going to Poland. They're going to go play in the offline qualifiers in Poland and play for their chance at a world championship ticket, a lot of money, and the fame and glory that comes along with it. Guys, let's go check it out here. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know who you think is going to win this match right now in the comment section down below, and let's go check it out. Here we go. Will Highland striking first against Ozzy coming in with E Drags. Is this an E Drag spam team? Did it get him this far? Could it take him all the way? Or are they gonna, we're going to see something else out of him too? Let's see. Start with E Drags on both sides. E Drags are really strong right now. I actually need to make a video on that, but here we go. Will Halen charging the town hall. He's got the warden they're traveling with. He's holding on to his king, his queen, and his royal champion. They can come on the backside. Got to make sure that CC is destroyed before he sends him in. A whole bunch of archers come out, but nothing else. So we can, after that CC is destroyed, he can send in his heroes and start to sweep the backside of the base. But there are some single infernos out there, so it could be a tough approach. He drags starting to get pinged off. Gets this uh, single here. The heroes can pick up a lot more. Starting to whittle out. Starting to whittle out here. The Warden getting targeted by the Scattershot. He's not going to last much longer. Doesn't have any minions for cleanup. This is just a straight spam at the Town Hall. Yeah, nothing, nothing fancy about this. Nothing fancy about this. Kind of a lackluster spam attack. Can these guys hold up to INTZ? They didn't get the CC destroyed, so they do end up drawing the Ice Golems out. So the Queen is going to get locked up there. The Royal Champion as well. He can continue on a little bit. He didn't get the Eagle either. And that's going to make his uh, King get pelted down by that. Queen's getting targeted. Uh, she attacks the wall there. No, she's attacking the Ice Golem, I mean. He'll get into the 80s here, I suppose. Still got a King ability. Still has a Queen ability. Pops those. The Eagle does end up going down to the Royal Champion. And the King can pop his ability to get to the enemy King. He's going to leave everything in the other corner up. Definitely should have bring a couple uh, minions there just to go pick off that. Even just like two minions and an Archer can go a long way. And uh, yeah, all singles on the opposite side of the base from E Drag entry. Was he even trying for a three star? Or was he just doing a safe two? I don't know. You never know. Sometimes if somebody like these. This is a lot of wars to do back to back to back to back two days in a row. You never know if somebody just has to just quick and get their attack in because they have other stuff going on, you know? Life is life. Here we go. Marinol's in. Marinol is in and uh, coming in with a Lalo. He's got the Stone Slammer. Queen's going to take the enemy queen here. Now, if he can grab that queen and not pull the CC, that'd be huge. I don't think he... There's ground expos right there, so he does pull the CC with the archers. He's got an archer that he can draw out of the way if needed. He's got the earthquake to activate the town hall, so I assume that means he's going to start on the town hall. There we go. Come on, Marinel. Where he's in, he's stripped the tornado trap. Damn, he's got some big value right there. Where'd the Royal Champion go in? Oh, Royal Champion died right there. Okay. The Hound is getting drawn, or the Ice Golem is getting drawn across the base. Get it completely out of the way here. Balloons are going to search to that town hall. Ward ability protects them all. Stone Slammer on the other side there with a couple balloons to support. Minions all around. Cleanups down nice and early. Big block of balloons there that are not piling up. And that's going to make so we can have a straight, or a, a pretty clean sweep to the base here. Stone Slammer comes down. Balloon split. Very nice. More balloons come on the flank. Can go after that uh, multi-inferno. He's going to have to freeze that up. He does. Freezes the wizard tower with it. Nice placement there. Eagle goes down. Backside of the base. There's nothing left of this base, guys. It's a triple. It's a triple all day. Marinol cannot be stopped with a Lalo. I mean, all the scatter shots, they were all on one side of the base here. We got the other war going in. Let's dive into there. Marinol has clearly got the triple. All right, guys. Here we go. First strike. First strike in the final minutes here. Quad quicks it open and he's going with Yeti Witch Spam. There we go. Yeti Witch Spam. Each Peck's on one side. Peck on the other. We have 
Get these. Sprinkle it down behind. We got the witches coming in. More live attacks going. I want to see if this has a chance. No one bounce out of there because this could be there's something we don't see very often. So if it works, that would be really cool. But all single infernos, the witches can do well. Yetis can do really, really well. He's got a heal spell to make up for not having any healers. Nice push into the middle of the base here. He's in a solid charge. This really honestly has a lot of potential here. He's got the hogs that came out of siege barracks. They're gonna go with the road champion, sweep to that top inferno as long as they can stay alive. There's no Scatter shots up there to really slow these hogs down and cause AoE damage to them. He does have the heal for the hogs, so they're going to get through there. The Royal Champion does get locked onto by the single. That's going to hurt her. The hogs get into the eagle. The town hall does go down. Doesn't clear the top side, though. It's not going to go. It's not going to go. Let's go. We got Ozzy coming in here with a warden charge onto the inferno here. The Horror Funnel. He's got the Siege Barracks, so if he can get that, then he can charge right through the Town Hall and clear out that area there. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Now, is this the same base that they ran in the last round? Because if INTZ was aware, then they would be able to go find out where the traps are. And his Warden is going for a walk. He got too far, and he can't pull him back anymore. No! Oh, oh, I thought he was going to go join. I thought he was going to go join. He does not. He rages the warden. He's just going to continue this warden walk. Doesn't have it heal for the town hall. He can get this warden to join, but he's got to keep him alive. And he can still get some value late. But he's going to take a big hit to his yetis here. And so they're going to raise a lot of yeti mites by getting hit by the town hall there. The warden does now charge. He does join with the rest of the group here. He's on his way over. He needs the healers to transfer over and get onto the, the yetis now. Queen, gonna pop the hound. Or the ice golem, I mean. Got the royal champion sweeping through a big line of uh, Teslas there. Uh, all the yetis died. All the yetis died. I don't think this is gonna make it. No, it's not. No, is it? The king's still standing. No, there's too much. There's too much. He's not going to make it. Bounce out of there. Go to the other side. We got Bernal. We'll watch Bernal. Bernal did a queen charge and he took a blimp on the town hall to form the funnel and then he queen charged into the compartment next to it. He sees pulled. King on the outside. King takes out the royal champion and the enemy king. Hound goes down quick. Ice going pops. No big deal there. Archers is still working on the pups. Here we go. Into the base. He's got hogs. He needs the queen to take the enemy queen before he sends in the hogs or at least get her on her way there. She's she is going for it. She's going forward there. She's going to step into the queen and now he starts the hogs to sweep right past. They're going right after that eagle artillery. Ward ability really, really early to protect it from that scatter shot and that's going to get him through the entire area. They're also absorbing the first round of the eagle strikes. And there we go. Heals with the bomb tower. Queen gets the queen down. She can walk the channel now. She's broken in and she can continue along that entire channel. More hogs coming in the flank there. Giant bombs going off over there. Made the majority of the hogs continue on straight with the royal champion. Breeze to protect the queen and the hogs and the royal champion. This is crushed. Bernal. Coming in with a three star. 50 seconds to clean up here. Road Champion clears out. Oh, look at the Road Champion ability. Zipping around the base there. Clears out half the base there with just that Road Champion ability. Clearing out most of the remaining defenses. Hogs going to sweep over to take the cannon. This is a three star all day. Nice hit, Bernal. That is going to be the win. No, nah, two triples. No triples. No triples. INTZ takes the win. Marinal and Bernal coming in. The two star players of the team here and they deliver as usual. INTZ is going to be the other team that is moving on to the world championship qualifiers in Poland. Well, there it is, guys. INTZ takes the win. They will be advancing to Poland and they will have their chance to go play for that world championship ticket. Last year, 
They went to pull in, what, three or four times, and they weren't able to clutch it then. They weren't able to close out the last match and get the World Championship ticket, and they ended up having to go through the wild card vote, and they got voted in because, remember, only six teams will make it into the Poland qualifiers, and then two teams are fan voted in, and that's how they got in last year. And we'll see if they can get through the proper way this time and actually take the win, but there's some other really good teams there. We have Tribe Gaming, we have JF, and we have a handful of others that aren't confirmed yet, and uh, I think the Rock SA is also the other one from the bracket here so they just finished up their matches a minute ago and they will also be going through the ESL qualifier and then on the clan war league list here I believe I think INTZ is actually sending a second team through there so they might have two teams not sure yet we're gonna have an official list there by supercell the next couple days here so keep an eye out for that and if you want to keep updated on that then make sure you're following me on twitter make sure you're following me on facebook instagram because as soon as supercell releases that i will put that information out there so you guys don't miss it all right guys that's it for today make sure that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one